Guys, the palace of Oni of Ife is all about pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy. <laughs> Every one of them is pregnant from what we are hearing allegedly. <laughs> but the problem here is, where is this pregnancy coming from? Because all this while we have been hearing how if a priest have been telling KBAC to stop doing or having conjugal duties with these wives. If he wants to remain on that throne for a very long time and also bring back his wife, Queen Naomi, and the uh, Tadenika into his palace. But right now, every one of them is claiming to be pregnant. Only yesterday, the day before yesterday, we heard that uh, uh, Auntie Blo Blo said she is pregnant with a male child. And according to her, her own child is going to be the Oni of Ife. I don't know if it is after any Tanogunusi's turn or her mission is the moment she born the baby, she will dethrone this person. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. My people, I don't know if all this pregnancy rumor is just a way of, uh, you know, spiting Dr. Elizabeth because we heard that Dr. Elizabeth is pregnant, for real, as in for real. That one, we have been hearing it before now. But these recent ones from uh, Blow Blow and uh, Ololi Two Face, <laughs> it is so alarming, as in the way they are saying it, it is so alarming, it is raining, as in pregnancy is now raining. So, <laughs> see, when I hear this news, do you know why I'm laughing? I'm laughing because... Where is this coming from? Is it Kabiyosi's own? Or is it the ex-husband's own? Because I don't know if you guys have been following the gist. Because if you have been following, several will have been hearing that the ex is always in the house that Kabiyosi bought for her, where her children are presently. And any time that the ex is there, she normally passes the whole night or weeks in that house with the ex i don't know whether the ex is sleeping in the boys quarter why she is sleeping in the men uh, master's bedroom master's bedroom i don't know i don't know because if you ask me hmm, i will say that if it is true is a good news oh uh -huh. if the information is true is indeed a good news but the other way around my question is I hope it's not uh, what some of some people are thinking or some people are saying. <laughs> See, oh, pregnancy is good thing. Don't don't quote me wrong. It's very very good thing. Everybody is praying for it. Uh -huh. Unless people that are tired of giving birth already, they they will tell okay, God, go and give it to those women that are still looking for fruit of the womb. But that's apart from that, it is a good thing, and it's supposed to be welcomed with a good heart, good mind. That is, if it is true, if it is not a fake one, the one that will come up to say, I am pregnant, maybe because your husband is treating the other person that is pregnant in a better way. You think the husband is not looking after you the, the way you want because you are not pregnant. You come up to say that you are pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. But the way pregnancy is running up and down in the palace right now, I don't know. I don't know. But the question is, is her own also going to be the new Oni of Ife? <laughs> is her own also going to be the next Oni of Ife? Because information have been that a blow blow came up with her own. Telling Penami to be prepared though. That she now, she's about to have a baby boy. And this baby boy is going to share Kabiyasi's property with Tadenikawo. And the uh, Penami should not be on uh, stay on her way. If not, that she's ready to crush my people. The baby boy, we never see you. If it is truly coming from her, we don't know. If it is from surrogacy, we don't know. Because see these women, you cannot trust them. We don't want the story that touches the heart. Maybe they will uh, burn the one that after announcing it, KBSC will want them to remain outside without bringing them back to the palace officially. <laughs> like all of the TikTok's case. Uh -huh. Because I remember when she was pregnant, or when we heard she was pregnant, 
the news was all over the place. How she's telling Kwenami that, look, oh, I am going to push you by the side. By the time this set of twins arrives, I'm going to do this, do that. At the end of the day, Kabiesin have refused to welcome them back to the palace. Although some people said that what happened in her case is something that have never happened. That in the Odua, Odua, uh, um, is it Odua family or the Odua, <laughs> let me not bite my tongue, that they have never walked, welcomed, that a king have never walked, welcomed a set of twins. That her own is a special one from the gods, that she is highly blessed. That Kabiesi is preparing to do it in a very big way. That is what someone told me uh, in the comment section. And I said, oh, it is still okay. But one thing I do know is that as long as they don't want Benami's happiness, none of them is going to enjoy that marriage. Not even one of them. Not even one. If you like, burn five boys for Kabiesi. Tadenikawo is the head among all of them. And nothing will happen to Tade. God is going to keep that boy. God is going to protect him. And if Kabiya say, like, let him go and marry 10, 100, Esther. When Naomi is in charge, by the virtue of the gods giving her the heir apparent to Kabiya's throne, to Kabiya's empire, to Kabiya's investment and properties, he is in charge. If uh, blow blow like let him born five male children, maybe kings after kings, after this one become king, the next one will become king, and all of that, that is their business. If all of the two face like let her also become pregnant, whether it is Kabiesi who owns the baby or the other man, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. Always remember, whenever you are in this channel, just know that you are here to listen to gist. I'm able. And as, the, as I hear them, and so I they deliver them. But it is my duty to remind you that they are not for stand information. So you know how you take it, okay? Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, if they like, let them burn anything. Male or female or no matter their number. Queen Naomi is Kabiesi's first wife. Tade Nikawo is Kabiesi's first son. And that settles it. Yes, so everybody was expecting that by now. KBC will stop talking about Kwenomi and Tade Nikawo because of Toby and her children. What is happening? Hmm? What is happening? <laughs> you see this life, eh? Sometimes things are not the way we expect it. It is only God who knows what tomorrow holds for each and every one of us. Including those of you who go to see us to go and find out what tomorrow holds for you. It's only God that can know. And, and uh, will display it in the uh, at the right time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. When I hear this one, I said, "Oh, Kabiyesi, see, congratulations! It's good news, guys. Congratulate uh, our Olori Two Face on the comment section, and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and share the video. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your support for me. Bye. Love you guys.